Hello and welcome to Candera's next generation of HMI development presentation. I'm David Abel, Head of Product Management at Candera. Today I will show you the next generation of HMI development and how current obstacles and trends affect them. Michael Nussbaumer, Product Design and Development from Next System, will show you a haptic touch application running with the Candera HMI. I will start with a quick introduction of Candera, followed by a dive into the main topic. Then Michael will give you a quick introduction of Next System, followed by their CGI Studio based haptic touch user interface solution. Let's start with a quick introduction of Candera. Candera is a company located in Austria with development offices in Austria and Japan. We also have sales and application offices around the world. We are a leading HMI tool provider and development partner for worldwide automotive and industrial customers. We support our customers with our product CGI Studio, which is a complete 2D and 3D tool chain for creating state-of-the-art HMI solutions. Moreover, we also provide software services, mainly focusing on HMI development and embedded software. CGI Studio is our main product, a scalable and hardware independent software platform for the creation of brilliant and customizable embedded HMIs in 2D and state-of-the-art 3D. Design, HMI creation and embedding the result in a hardware platform are all achieved in one tool chain. Our no-coding approach allows a fast HMI creation and an easy learning experience for users. Our roots and strengths lie in the ambitious automotive sector, where CGI Studio leads the market with over 50 million vehicle deployments. You can find CGI Studio HMI solutions in numerous applications, head-up displays, instrument clusters, head units, and central displays, and rear seat entertainment. Besides automotive, you will also find us in other premium markets, such as marine, motorbikes, and high-end white goods. With the rising numbers of smart devices, the demand for displays and brilliant HMI is growing, as is the demand for an easy to use and fast HMI creation toolchain like our established CGI Studio. This means that you will find more CGI Studio applications on a wide range of devices in the future. Enough about us, let's talk about the next generation of HMI development. So let's have a look at the state of the HMI development. Besides basic technical requirements, such as high performance on many different embedded hardware platforms, the typical HMI development still faces some challenges. First, a typical HMI development project requires mostly software developers implementing the HMI based on the visual designs of the designer and usability experts. This creates a gap between the creative design team and the software development team as the software developers focus on engineering, whereas the designers will focus on design and usability. This limits the possibility for rapid prototyping and in fact limits space for creativity because of the need to overcome the gap between the teams. Second, current development have strong dependency with the platform and operating system used. This means that additional knowledge is required, especially for performance considerations on low-end MCUs. Moreover, it limits the reusability of HMI projects across several hardware platforms. Next, the demand for product variations, allowing customers to customize their ordered products is increasing. With that variant handling options during production time, the HMI is limiting the product potential. Also, the HMI reusability between platforms is limited. The just mentioned issues lead to an uh, inflexible development process due to the gap between the software development and the design department. Creativity and deployment speed is also limited. In most, case, in most cases, additional tools creating an unnecessary overhead are used to overcome these obstacles. Last but not least, the HMI development platform and toolchain fail to integrate the latest technology trends, such as augmented and virtual reality, haptic feedback screens, or liquid HMIs. In short, these limitations and obstacles are preventing an efficient and effective HMI development process. Today's obstacle will show us the future demands of the HMI development. Bridging the gap between software developers and designers is highly important so that the HMI development tool can become a design oriented tool instead of a software development tool. This means the tool must follow a no coding approach and focus on ease of use and quick use onboarding. Nevertheless, the tool itself should still be able to be used by software developers for specific modifications, custom developments or integration of new technologies. The strong platform and OS dependency must over 
come as well. This means that the HMI development should cover several platforms at once to allow a direct reusability of assets between several platforms. The designer using the HMI tool should not care about the used platform and its limitations, but rather should focus on the development of the HMI instead. Handling large set of variants or even supporting individually customized HMI is getting important. This can be achieved via integrated variant handling and an open software architecture that caters for extensions and enables automatic variant handling. Moreover, the development process must become flexible. This requires a HMI development toolchain capable of supporting such flexible and agile development processes by design. The integration of future-orientated features, such as augmented or virtual reality or multimodal interfaces, is crucial for the success of HMIs in the future. This means the tool chain must allow for a quick integration of new features and support an open software architecture that integrates other technologies easily. Let's see the, what changes the next generation HMI development will bring. First, the HMI development will be used by more and more designers instead of software developers as a result of the no-coding capabilities of the tool. This will close the design to software development gap where designers directly create the HMI. Software developers will still be required, but more on a technical level, dealing with the platform OS or low-level data bus connections, for example. The HMI will be created by designers, which allow additional space for for creativity. In addition, the tool change will be scalable for projects with just a few designers up to projects with several hundreds of designers. The development process will become agile. This means that the HMI development tool must actively support features such as rapid prototyping. The earlier and easier you gain feedback, the more design iterations can be tested and result, will result in an excellent HMI at the end. This also means that if you can use the HMI development tool for rapid prototyping, you reduce the number of required tools during development. With the rising demand of graphic user interfaces, the higher the demand for a fast development capability. This requires a no-coding tool chain, which is easy to use. Moreover, it also demands support for rapid prototyping to get early feedback. A high level of reusability across different platforms from low to high end is also required. This will enable you optimize HMI development across different product lines within your product portfolio and protect your investments. The demand for variant handling is also increasing as customers want to customize their products. A future platform must be capable of handling such variants easily and be integrated into production processes. Overall, the next generation of HMI development will facilitate the HMI development process, allow a faster development and provide easy access to latest technologies. CGI Studio is not only delivering best performance from low end to high end, it also fulfills the demands of the next generation HMI development toolchain. CGI Studio is based on no coding so that designers directly create brilliant HMIs without the support of software developers. Moreover, it also supports collaboration and scaling from projects with one designer up to projects with hundreds of designers. With our continuously growing training material, such as samples, video tutorials, and specific guides, we aim to create a good and easy user onboarding experience as well. It also comes with a state with state-of-the-art features such as physical-based rendering, multi-frequency rendering, and built-in connectivity features that connect the HMI easily to the outer world, for example, external rendering or cloud-based services. Our AI-assisted smart importer is designed to create HMIs, uh, HMI prototypes rapidly, allowing designers to bring the artwork to life in just a few minutes on the target platform. I will show you a few, uh, more in a few moments. In combination with our value generator, the designer is able to simulate values and make the HMI come to alive, even without the need of data bindings to a bus system. This also works remotely so that the HMI can be tested in early stages of the development directly on the hardware platform. CGI Studio is uh, supporting uh, many different platforms from low-end MCUs to high-end SOCs. 
with and without operating system. Moreover, it is equipped with useful tools to optimize the performance without coding skills. Reusability is also supported across different hardware platforms. As such, you can reuse HMI application components on a wide variety of different platforms within your product portfolio. The integrated variant handling in combination with our open software architecture allows you to modify and adopt the HMI solution in, product, uh, in production and let customers modify the HMI to their individual needs. We at Candera are continuously working to improve our CGI studio to provide you the best next generation HMI development toolchain. Be excited about what comes in the future. Let's have a quick look at the smart importer. In the past, the process was a time consuming and inefficient because most steps had to be done manually, such as export from the design tool, layer merging and optimization, re-import and creating living HMI elements, which even require software development skills. The smart importer is designed to bridge the gap between software developers and designers to facilitate the import of design assets. For example, from Photoshop or Sketch. The open architecture allows supporting most kind of design tools on the market. It is an AI-assisted importer, allowing the user to enrich static design assets with HMI logic so that the user already has a living HMI directly after the import. In combination with automatic layer merging, multiple scene support, it massively speeds up the creation of HMI prototypes and the build uh, in re-import allows the testing of design iterations quickly. In combination with the value generator is a perfect tool for rapid prototyping without the need of software development skills or software developers. The benefits of the smart import are that it facilitates the HMI development process, especially for designers and graphic artists. It speeds up the HMI development process by allowing to get fast feedback and try out more design iterations and even experiments. Overall, it allows to reduce the co development costs and a faster time to market, as well as supporting creativity for your brilliant graphical user interfaces. So far about Candera and the next generation of HMI development with CGI Studio. I would like now to hand over to Michael from Next System and his presentation of the haptic touch user interface created with CGI Studio. We are a privately owned company established in 2001. Our headquarter is located in Vienna and we have sales offices in Germany, Hungary and Czech Republic, as well as an R&D center in Upper Austria. We are 45 employees and our core business is distribution, assembly and engineering in the field of motors and drives, embedded computer, display and touch screens. When we saw some requirement in the market back in 2010, we started our R&D work in the field of haptic and force sensing. During that time, the definition of haptic was different to what we see in the market today. It was mainly re realized by motors giving vibrational feedback which is completely different to what we have in PlayStations, mobile phones, or cars today. Since that time, we have built a full ecosystem around haptics. It is very important to understand the overall requirements of the product, simply because it's a combination of design, hardware, and software that generates the best user experience. With our own developed haptic controller, we are able to drive different actuator technologies and it allows us to be flexible in the force sensing methods. We have built a kind of modular system which keep the efforts low for each individual project. Since we are a hardware company, we have been looking for a partner on the software side to extend our ecosystem. We came up with the idea to develop a demonstrator using two actuator technologies to easy feel and understand the difference. As we do care on the quality of the hardware like display glass touch sensor and low computer board. We have the same requirements for the software as well. We wanted to implement a modern and dynamic interface with no lack in performance, use animations and have smooth control elements which make use of the haptic feedback. And we wanted to integrate some potential use cases where we believe haptic might be a benefit. So we had our first meeting with Candera, also including data module as our partner, where we presented some basic ideas. And shortly after that meeting, we quickly realized the following. We have built a device integrating two displays, 
The top part is a using an actuator based on the electrostatic technology, and the bottom panel is using piezo elements. Beside the active elements, we also added some CNC thrilled structures in the cover glass, which can be used for guidance and of course have tactile feedback as well. There are also sliders outside the active area of the display, which work as static elements. A basic advantage using force sensing is when you put the finger on the screen, the software receives X, Y, and Z position information and therefore can differentiate between hard and soft press as well between intended or unintended input. Interacting with the device without directly looking to the screen is now possible. And with the use case for an ATM, which you will see right after, we have done studies with a blind association. And I have to say, it's really exciting having something for blind people to operate on a touch panel. We have done a video to give you a preview of what you will feel once we can do real life hands-on. Let me show it. Please don't miss to touch it. If you have any questions, I will be available in the chat and let me hand back to you, David. Thank you, Michael, for your amazing product presentation. Thanks a lot for everyone attending our presentation. If you want to get in contact with us, you can easily reach us at the Embedded World online platform or you can get in touch with us directly. We and our technical sales team are awaiting you. Thank you very much and have a nice embedded world.